Hello, hi everyone. Greetings for the day and I welcome you all to Mimo TV. As you all know, Mimo TV is the one wherein we have the topics, almost everything. One among that is today's subject and that is regarding taxpayers, tax or salaried person or something to do with tax. Now let's go to the subject. Almost all taxpayers main concern is to how to save their hard and money. Obviously, it's our money and we need to safeguard it. Right. The less tax you pay, the more disposable income in your hand. Either you spend or invest. Right. Okay. Now, for most of the people, tax paying is such a big thing. Wherein they forget the primary rule of financial planning and concentrate all their energy on tax saving. I see most of the people are trapped in an idiotic products because of their passion towards tax saving. Most of the people today are invested in products which doesn't suit them, which they doesn't need, all because of their reckless or uh, lacking judgment on planning to invest for the sake of tax, tax saving. ULIP agents, insurance agents, mutual fund agents, they are ready to guide you. But they easily brainwash you with their sweet words, only then they'll get commission. As far as my knowledge is concerned, many taxpayers unintentionally commit mistakes when it comes to their tax saving strategy. Now let me highlight some of the points what I think on this subject. Okay, Is tax saving is only about investing? No, it is also about spending. A provision in section 80C allows you to claim deductions on investments up to 1.5 lakh of total income wherein LIC premium, school or college fees, house loan etc falls. But up to this is okay but LIC premium that is a stupid thing. LIC insurance, LIC should never be bought with this intention of saving tax. Tax saving is just one of the benefit that comes along with it. The main benefit is that the provision of finances in case of death of the uh, policy holder. But how many cases got settled out of this clause? Any idea? No. Only a handful of families would have got the claim because the company easily rejects or uh, they raise some sort of flaw in your claim. Okay. The worst sufferer are those who invest in LIC and other companies uh, endowment policies and uh, money back policies etc. Such people forget to realize that uh, although the tax is being saved for the current year, they are actually getting into commitment for next 15 to 20 years or whatever the sorry, policies uh, uh, tenure and they have no idea how to meet their future goals. Similar problem with people who invest in ULIP as well. Now point number two, fixed returns. Many people invest in senior citizen savings scheme or PPF or five year uh, fixed deposit lock in bank or something like that. Okay, they are not sure what they are going to get out of it, but they are happy that they have saved the tax. Now, if you invest in ELSS, uh, next year you need money, what are you going to do? And moving forward, uh, deposit with five year lock in bank. That is also a little stupid thing because you need money now. You don't have money to buy food now, you are starving. But what's the use of the money which is going to come only after 5 years? In between you can't do, you have to wait for the liquidity. Isn't it a stupid thing? According to me, it's all my idea. Okay, Tax saving is just a benefit provided when you invest your money and don't make it a primary objective investment. Now next comes investment in mutual funds. We come across lots of advertisements in TV. They clearly say read the uh, plan carefully and then sign because risk involved. We ignore that. Why? See, I recollect a small joke, Peter and Paul. Peter keeps throwing money in a well. But Paul comes and asks him, what's the use? Why are you sending, why are you throwing the money in the well? Then Peter says, government has announced that we can save about 30 rupees when, you know, for each 100 rupees what we uh, put into this well. What's the use? Isn't it a stupid thing? So whatever I shared with you now is my own idea, my own experience. Everybody's got different vision on different subjects. This is my view and my ideas what I shared with you. So don't mistake me. This is the disclaimer for this. And uh, don't be greedy about money. Keep the money within your reach. Uh, pay the tax and be happy. Make the people around you happy. Take care.